Hello there, everyone. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, in which we're playing as a new Victoria, because there is a new special sub-mod for this country. If you'd like to check out the mod for yourself, it, the link to the mod will be the first link in the description below. But let's begin with New Victoria. The kingdom of New Victoria is the last bastion of monarchism in the wasteland. Small but mighty, our island nation is not lacking in ambition. Traditions of... The Old World, New Victoria, is somewhat of a peculiar anomaly in the hexscape of the post-apocalyptic wasteland. While the vast majority of organized territories are towns, fledgling republics are degenerate bands of raiders, New Victoria. It's a hereditary monarchy. Following the long-lost traditions of pre-war royal dynasties, the House of Victoria's bloodline can be traced back to an influential Canadian politician, though further details about their identity were lost to the fires of the Great War. Although New Victoria considers itself to be a Canadian monarchy, rather than a continuation of the Windsors who once ruled the UK. It follows a precedent set by the British and operates as a constitutional monarchy which elects senators from the various duchies that make up the Kingdom of New Victoria. Therefore, any major policy changes require legislative assent. Of course, New Queen Victoria still holds supreme authority over the realm and could in theory exert her authority and refuse to grant royal assent to laws passed by the Senate. Such an action would widely be considered tyrannical and has not happened since time immemorial. Nonetheless, the world is as ever-changing place and New Victoria is not exempt from this change. Nuclear fallout is finite, but the divine right of Kings is eternal. Nice. Well, it would be on the seas. Maybe we could do some infrastructure, but the Strait of uh, the Georgia Defense Fleet is of paramount importance of protecting our independent nation. Whilst we've always been a prominent naval power, well, how should we proceed? Depending on your choice, you'll either unlock the naval effort or army effort focus path. The state opening. Queen Victoria VI is preparing to deliver the Queen's speech and formally commence the new parliamentary term. Very cool. Pride of the Pacific, but first we have National Spirits. Strait of the Georgia Defense Fleet. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good. We have the Cascadian Heritage. We can form Cascadia should we own all cores of Broken Coast. <clears throat> we also have the Senate of New Victoria, too. Pretty cool. And it's unassimilated refugees. Oh, it looks like we're losing constitutionalists here. Oh, boy. Um, hmm, interesting. Part of the Pacific, though. <coughs> the Royal Victorian Navy is a sight to behold, should you ever witness its spe uh, spectacle in person. The most magnificent ship is undoubtedly the RVNS Queen Victoria, our beloved trireme prior to the fleet. However, it's come to our attention that tension is brewing over the mainland, and the fragile peace between the various Colombian territories may not last. This could present an opportunity for territorial expansion, either through direct force or the forging of alliances. Should we re redirect our efforts or continue to focus on our navy? It's vital that we don't fall behind on shipbuilding efforts, as hostile powers will most certainly be to eyeing up our land, and possibly planning invasion as we speak. So we have either naval effort, for a lot of dockyards, or... Which, that's not bad, right? Range factor, invasion preparation speed, damage is pretty good, and more defense. Or army. Army XP, arms workshops. Uh, you get better, less division training time, more attack and defense, and trust speed. Uh, Victor Victoria, new Victoria. It's so navally focused, I want to choose that one, but... We're going to be working on the navy anyways. I'm thinking... Uh, I really want to do the army. We can always make more dockyards anyways. Just because our army, it's okay. I forgot to set it up, but we have four. 14 combo with infantry. So, we're going to need a lot more infantry where we're headed. Passive fin fin finesse. Oh, that sucks. What? At least he learns more, but oh my goodness. Um, let's see. So, let the mainland bicker amongst themselves. We get more output. Naval effort. We represent all true Canadians. Our, the mainland is their destiny. Which makes sense. Just why World War 7 goes down slightly. I think that's the one I want to do just because. I think that'd be for the best. 78 focus. Holy crap. The speech passes. The speech fails. The state opening in the parliament. Queen Victoria sat upon the sovereign's throne before the Senate. In her hand, she held a door with a royal seal on the Queen's speech. Traditionally, the speech is written by the Prime Minister of New Victoria and outlines the set's objectives for the upcoming term. If the senators vote in favor of the speech, the parliamentary term will commence as usual. If it fails, parliament is promptly dissolved and a fresh election is held. Before the ceremony begins, Victoria glanced at the speech. It contained the usual drivel spouted by generic politicians, infrastructure development, transparent government, economic reforms, and so on. Following the tradition of old world constitutional monarchies, the Queen has always held a figurehead role, with the governance of the country being delegated to the Prime Minister and his government, regardless of whether Queen Victoria agrees with her policies or not. Deep down, she knew that the Senate was a bloated bureaucratic annoyance that held back New Victoria's true potential, but did ultimately provide some form of democracy and granted the nation's citizens a vote. Suddenly, the room fell silent, all eyes turned towards Queen Victoria. As she read the speech, both the government and opposition senators fidgeted nervously. They knew the vote would be close, but what would the outcome ultimately be? This passes. Speech fails. Oh, political turmoil looks really bad. Holy crud. Disillusion of Parliament. Wow. We get more autocracy. Ooh. Political outrage. We get drafting new laws. The Mutant Act, the Air Force Act, Infrastructure Act. 
fully independent. So this one requires the agenda fulfilled or election results. Higher echelon society. I don't know if we actually had options here. Deploy the Imperial Guard. Disband political parties. That sounds like fun. Sell minor titles. Seize party funds. Dieu le candidat at Mandroy. Conquer Northwest Colombia, Northeast Colombia, and Northwest Colombia. South and South Colombia. Oh. The birthright has been unlocked. If all states within a certain region are owned by New Victoria, a national focus to create a grand will be unlocked. Oh my goodness, I want to do that one. Hold on. The Colombian Pact. Decision to invite them will be unlocked. Well, inviting them would be cool and all. I think I I just think I have to go to war with them all. But Forge a Spectacular Empire alone. I like that one. Rose Bay, the Grand Duchy of Washington will be formed. Mahonia. Idaho. Um, requires election results for this one. Brahmin Initiative. Let the money flow. What is this one? You get more... You lose recruitable population factor. You get a research slot here, though. We already have four, though. That's pretty good already. This is not bad either. Form Cascadia. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, as much as I want to do this, <coughs> I really want to do this one, I feel like we should dissolve Parliament and see what happens. Speech passes. Oh, whoopsie. Dissolution of Parliament. I feel like Alex and Rambler, we have to have a very strong monarchy here. Queen, Al Queen Alexander? No, Queen... Uh, <laughs> Victoria VI has no need for M Basilic, Bane and corrupt politicians. An absolute monarchy shall be proclaimed and Her Majesty will govern the realm himself. Herself. Absolutely. Followed up with deploy the National Guard. Imperial Guard, I mean. <coughs> Um, so my tells. Let's do this one. Disband political parties. If this dissenting scum isn't with us, then they're against us. Storm the office and arrest the leaders. The eternal empress, Queen Victoria, threw the speech aside and stood up. <clears throat> the politicians in the Senate chamber put their O's. eyes fixed on Her Majesty. Something was gravely wrong, but nobody expected what was to follow. Most senators theorized that a fresh election would be called, or that the Queen was about to dismiss the Prime Minister for incompetence. But the reality was far more extreme. Queen Victoria began speaking. She stated, "The Senate for slated the Senate for its complacency. She scolded the senators for their hopelessness and inaction. Whilst the rest of the Wasteland waged war and wrote history, they fought amongst themselves like children over petty political matters. Victoria immediately dissolved the Senate and proclaimed an absolute monarchy. Days later, <clears throat> an official ceremony took place in which she was crowned as Empress. In her maiden speech as a new benevolent dictator of the realm, she pledged to make amends for the years lost to democracy and self-centered agendas of politicians. She pledged to reshape the nation. She pledged to empower those overlooked by the Senate to represent the interests of all Canadians from the throne." Victoria answers to nobody. The Eternal Empress promises a long overdue empire, and she shall be its architect. God save the Empress. Seize party funds would not be bad, but we're probably going to deploy the Imperial God. So it's good for attack and defense on core territory. And we get 2% more additional recruitable population, which is not bad. Not great, but I'd rather take it than not have it. <coughs> the Eternal Empress will not be pushed around by these pathetic whelps that call themselves freedom fighters. We will mobilize the Imperial God and force them to disperse. Over here, it's not bad. It's not great, but yeah. I eventually will do all this up on the right side here, but it doesn't seem like it's super necessary. We lose caps, but eh, seems okay. But like I did say, we do have four research slots, which is awesome. Actually, yeah. Efficiency growth? Actually, that's not too bad. I haven't really looked at these two differently, but we get more max factories in the states, just better. Even though I get more output. Because so I already realized this. I always choose a top line. Um, I don't like the growth hit, but you get a lot more output, but eventually that doesn't matter. I'd rather have more max factories in the state anyway. Like, eventually, you're going to run out of places to build, and you want as much as you possibly can, so. This is my opinion. I could be wrong about that, but whatever. Deploy the Imperial God. Follow it up with still minor titles. Yeah, let's get some political power. That'd be good. <coughs> to increase support for the new order, we should sell some minor noble titles, lordships, and baronies. These minor nobles won't have any power, but it'll be a fun novelty for the peasantry and give them a false sense of status. Some refugees. Also, I do want to let you know this is unhistorical. I'm not sure what's gonna, if anything is really going to happen for historical up here near Cascadia or, you know, the far northwest, so. But when we become Cascadia, Cascadia we get stability. And every other state gets a population change plus 250. And get a core on several different islands, too. Procurement of things. Might as well one first. Political actions, we can develop some places too. Nice. So also minor titles, because we could probably use some more political power. Um, but seize the party funds. 
which will confiscate our money that political parties received in donations that should be deposited in the royal treasury and used to develop the nation. Oh, whoops, it's a little bit. Two at a time. I'm not sure what type of uh, route I want to go for land option yet. I might just use conventional warfare. That's probably over probably going to use in the end, so. Um, James Barstow, Stevens, Andrews. Yeah, I'll probably do conventional warfare for us. Economic expert, not bad. Captain of industry, not bad. Improvised tools are very good as well. Uh, that's still a little ahead of time, unfortunately. So, let's grab you. Multi-purpose equipment. Oh, I'm completely ignoring the electronic staff for some reason. Why am I ignoring that? Friends in high places, we need to be elites. Even though right now we are ruler. We could have been elites, but whatever. Pro monarchist, no. Royal household. Head physician's not bad. Uh, we're going to use this political power anyway, so we might as well do that. And go to well equipped army. And get some convention warfare next. But, seize party funds. Now we get nothing no political power. Holy crap. Because the stability is so bad, we have no stability to war support. Political outrage and seize party funds, so. Okay, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Dieu le Canada et Mondroit. We've disbanded the political parties, dispersed the protesters, and resolved our internal situation. The monarchy now holds supreme authority over New Victoria, and we can turn our attention to building a new mighty empire. Let's just ban the entire continent. God, Canada, and my right. Oh no, actually, this is why we didn't do it. Because apparently, we already have Radar 4. And we have all the way to completed uh, circuitry stuff right now, so... It's very odd, but I am not going to question that. Cool. Get a new commander anyways, that's fine. And uh, we can't... Uh, can't promote him. That's fine. Whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Seize the party funds, my friends. Ah, uh, yes. Very good. So, how are we going to invade these people? Um, I think I might want to wait till Broken Coast is at war with someone else. They have a lot of manpower. They have definitely more divisions than us. So we just got to keep making more stuff first. We're making saws. We're making demo teams. So, yeah. We'll see what we can do. Two days left. Work is needed. Nice. Go conventional warfare immediately. A little more max entrenchment. Acclimation authority. Yes, please. And we can't do that one just yet. So, you know what? I want special forces. Do we have special forces? I want special forces. We gotta use special forces for this campaign. Ooh. CFB, Comox, AFB developed. Get two anti air base. So two, one anti air, two air bases. And air technology or the equal malt. Two. Oh, we gotta do that one. Yeah. We do that one. That's fine. And we're making some good money, too. Oh, and we don't have political power. I could have sent a trade node stuff, but whatever. So after this one, um, then what? Do we have to manually go to war with them? Can you buy birthright? Camlo, Silex, Bellingham. That's 180 day. Holy crap. Oh, my bad. 180 day focus? Five to nine divisions is not bad, but we won't be able to pierce them. I don't mind maybe going to war with Camlo or Whistler first. Then again, like, we just need to make divisions. Maybe we could take out this group first. Can we take out the Hyde Confederation? I think that'd be good. It's gonna be maybe a little bit of a struggle for us, but that's alright. When do we not struggle? Ah, it's a little ahead of time, too. Let's grab this one. Fine. Nice. Planes? Yes. Gliders? Yes. <coughs> alright. 120 day focus. Holy crap. So. Let's try the Hyde Confederation first. The territories in the south will be incorporated into our empire. That is an extremely long focus. Holy crud. We're still losing support every single day. Is it the Privy Council? Okay, ruler support goes up every day. So we're going to eventually get down to a certain percentage and it's just going to stay there. So we're, She's a war industrialist and fortifications expert. Interesting. She has army. Um, so with you guys. Now we have enough to support you, promote you. Thank you. Richard Buell. Uh, be inspirational because you can. Same as you. Learn. So what we're probably gonna have to do is have baby steps first. A lot of, lot of, lot, lot of baby steps. Albany Levy. <coughs> Excuse me. If we can at least take a port. I don't know why my voice is changing like that, but if we can at least take a port, that'd be good. And we actually have some stability now. Okay, now that's a lot of political power because. Uh, we can't really spare much right now. So, what, point two from political parties, bam. More privy count. So, from Mana community, the local leaders and stability is actually very good for us. 
Let's go ahead and grab some of the conventional warfare so we get some more army XP so we can actually expand ourselves a little bit better. That'd be good. How many guns do we not have now? And we do want to throw on the saws and demo teams just to make it make us stronger. I mean, that's just... That's super important, so... Nice. Very good. After that one, we'll go to uh, Army Warfare because we need it. We have favored the Army over the Navy and begin enacting policies to strengthen this branch. Which would be good. Anything unique here for this stuff? No. Um, I'll probably go to Ulysses Chapman. No. Oscar, Oscar, yeah, definitely Oscar. Definitely him. Uh, I might focus a little bit on the Navy, actually, for this campaign. Just because we do have it available, so... There you go. That'll be good. Yes. And crowd controls. Well, when do we get there? Um, yeah, do that for now. And planes, gliders, that's fine. Keep it at the bottom. It's not super necessary right now, but it'll be necessary eventually. Alright. So then, how big is our army? It's not that big. We might fail a little bit here. We'll see. You guys are looking okay. You guys. Oh, you actually made uh, another trireme. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. And this will be a good experience for the Navy, too, so. Get them ready to go. They're not needing to repair anymore. And they're, we're doing okay. We got some triremes. We got some longboat holes. They could be definitely better. But with what we have right now, I think we're doing okay. Um, That position's not bad. War support, I like that a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Economy law. Well, I already traded the, the, did the economy stuff, so whatever. Um, chop shop. Anything to help our guys out yet? Maybe caravan guards? I like that one quite a bit. Attack and defense is not bad. Yeah, I'll go attack and defense. But for the army, I like this one because you get 10% more max planning and better to survive war stuns, but this is not bad either. Plus 0.5 entrenchment is not bad, but hmm, let's get more attack and defense for now. We're going to need it. Straight up, just going to need it. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, boy. All right, so let's see what we can do. Can we save the game? Yes, of course we can. And have some coffee, too. Thank you for saving. And then you do that. Get them fully ready to go. Hopefully we're going to have enough uh, resources here for our Navy. And hopefully we don't run out of energy cells, because that would be quite terrible if we did. But happy 2276, everybody. Alright, smoke signals, smoke it up. Conventional warfare. So get some more entrenchment when you actually land, and get some more planning. Let's see what we can do. If this goes poorly, well then, oh well. I don't, I don't remember how strong the divisions are, so... But if we don't have at least a little bit of conflict in the first episode... Have we really played Hoi 4? Of course not. Get more stability, that'd be pretty good. War propaganda is very nice as well. Um, here. Very research speed, that's fine with me. Gotta hope we can do well here. Come on, please. Oh, no. Oh, we actually landed. Great! Defense are online. If you wonder about that, please go ahead. Go in. Three divisions should be able to beat them up, right? At least that's a hope. You guys can go hold. Do that. Yeah, go in there too. I don't lose the entire army, but hey, we're Lord of the Waste now. Look at that. So after this one, we should be able to win. We'll see what happens. Army effort too, so we get some more factories. We should continue to invest in our army to further increase its capabilities. Nice. I hope they don't throw any more anyone else in here. Because I do want to force the attack. Oh, they just did. God dang it. Come on, we can do it. I know we can. Because if we get stuck here, then they could probably easily destroy all of our divisions, which would be really bad. Quite bad. I want I want to force the attack, but I want to wait until we get up to at least like 92 or something like that. Go. There's only one more. Oh, crap. Come on. Come on, man. You know what, that's fine if you need to take a real quick break, that's fine with us. Come on. Um, is there anything else we could do here to make them hit a little harder? More max planning. Army experience gain is not bad. Uh, this helps it somewhat immediately for warfare and stuff, but... Uh, anything else here? Uh, local Sheriff. You know what, we'll go Spymaster. I don't always choose that one, but I do want to try, the, try it out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Oh, we got it. We got a gram shark. Nice. Good job. Woo, we got it. I can feel safe doing this. Nice. And now we have 43 army XP, which is really good, so... 
Um, for at the time of this recording, it depends on what the devs do. But like, I like throwing on these fire teams within the division because even though you don't get more organization and actually you lose five, you get quite a bit more defense. Fifty more defense. Infantry is good for defense too, but uh, never mind. It's not. You get less than four defense if you add another infantry. This gives you fifteen. You get eight soft attack while infantry gives you two. It gives it just a little bit more defensive capabilities. And you still don't get as much HP, but still not too bad. So, I like throwing this one on. Do we have enough fire teams? We do not. Do we have enough fire uh, stuff for demos here? We do. Now it's going to make our divisions quite a bit stronger, hopefully. Specialized Warfare, which we'll get to in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and get some more industry going, maybe. That's a little bit ahead of time. Let's go out this one. Nice. And you know what? They want to attack us? I am, I am more than happy they want to just try to kill us off. So you're level two already. Winter specialist, invader, nice. And hopefully they don't invade us. Even though we do have our navy roaming around here, so. Oh, are you guys stacked already? Yeah, hop out. Get those. Oh, trade from Hawaii. If you want to about that, please go ahead. War support. Turn them away. No. I like getting more political power and stability right now, so. I think that'd be worth it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, since we're here anyways, two suns, nice. Go with this one, and then, yeah, militia's fine for now. Smoke signals are nice. Cool. Yeah. Help us with combat a little bit more. They are having a time with us right now. So casualties, 151 versus, oh, we actually lost more, but they're having a capitulation. As long as we capitulate them, that's all I really care about. And now, we're looking not too bad. We get so much political power that actually makes me feel pretty good about it. Um, let's grab this one. It gives them. It doesn't give them that much more organization, but it it'll be helpful. Yeah, I don't lose that tile, guys. Army effort two, great. And army effort three. Army developments are progressing well, but further expansions can be made to our military industry. Yes, please. Actually, you guys go right here. We can circle that to one division. It's not going to be very much, but it'd be better than nothing. It would definitely be better than nothing. They love just spamming their attacks on us, which is fine with me, but still. He's level three now. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, become a mysterious stranger. Make us even stronger. And circle that division and kill it off. Because we probably don't have enough guns. Yeah, we don't. But once we kill, get rid of these guys, like we should get quite a few more guns. Here. Just like one of you guys go. Everyone else just go. No, 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 I need you guys here. Oh, Kong, you go up to here. And is it you? Yeah, go up there. That's fine. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm sorry, Broken Coast. You're not getting any of this stuff. You're not going to get Jack Squat from us. You can fight us for it. I don't really care. You know what? Why don't you guys still hold? Don't worry about that. Hop attack here. And then killing these guys will be much easier. <coughs> Development? Why not? Hmm. This is the political power right now, and I don't want to forget it. Let's trade. Let's get all... Oh, so we're already trading. Oh, yeah, I said it. Nice. More money! Military signing bonuses? We don't have that much manpower. This doesn't help us that much, but you know what? We can do it. Why not? There we go. See, look at that. Now they're completely encircled. <coughs> and now they're attacking us, which is good. They're trying to stop us there, which is good. Nice. Battle plans, good. More soft attack. A little bit more walking infantry and treasure would be very nice, too. Keep going on. And it's a little bit hard to tell us about Why not? Keep, just don't, make sure they can't get any more organization first. And, uh, yeah, we can wait for that one. Anything else around here? Resources, maybe? Because we can? Because we're worth it. That's why. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, have you learned anything yet? Richard Buell? No? All right. And Kong is ours. Great. Yeah, screw you. Uh, oh, wait. You guys, they took it without... Oh, my goodness. 
They just took it from them? What? What? That's our territory. That's such BS, man. Salvaging the ruins. Um, they're really not that strong. I thought they would be as strong as they would be, but hmm. Very captain production costs, production policies. Let's go with that one. That's fine. And the greatest little army conquer North East Columbia. I'd rather do this one. The great little army. New Victoria that we sent on guard for thee. Give more attack and defense, which would be great. So, so we really have to keep an eye on the broken coast right now. I'm not sure what they're going to plan on doing. Salvaging the ruins. I don't remember the focus tree that much. They will want to go to war with us eventually, though. Um, and they could probably naval invade us, too. Ooh, another ship. Go home. Do this. And repair. He didn't learn very much. He didn't learn anything, actually. That sucks. And prospectors, you can do that one for now. The greatest little army. Followed with what? Conquer Northeast Columbia. The territories in the south will be incorporated into our empire. Dredgers and Whistler. <clears throat> well, let's see. They've got a thousand vampire, five to nine divisions. You guys have four to eight. <clears throat> if we were to go to war with one of these guys, we would have definitely have a big old land border with Broken Coast, which make it which make would make it a little easier to, to invade them. So uh, Dredgers are really far away. We get to Camlo pretty quickly, and Camlo usually doesn't have too many people attacking it either. If we're gonna do anything ahead of time, it's gonna be local workspaces. I might just go to war with the Dredgers first, if possible. Because they do have quite a few different areas where we can naval invade. That being said, I'm just worried about Broken Coast attacking us. <coughs> I think that the Broken Coast will attack Whistler first anyways. So, we'll see. I'm not really sure. We'll see what happens. Um, we want to attack there too. At least get someone here to naval invade successfully. That's all I care about. I can't imagine them covering every single one of their bases easily, so... Send one island. Um, boom, boom, boom. I don't want to risk, like, losing... <sighs> divisions and stuff. Mm, look at that. It's a nice bear. It's hard to see somewhat, but it's a bear right here. Bear, 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 bear. You could probably just cut them off here, but we'll see what happens. There you go. <clears throat> Good luck and don't die. That's one. Get slightly more organization. Better to survive world's times. Honest speaker. More war sport would be nice, though. Hmm. Yeah, this, this, this part of the, you know, economic policies, I wish... This is okay. It's not great. <coughs> but now we just gotta give it some time to do stuff, so... Alright, so we'll build ourselves up a little bit more. Um, flexible designs are nice. Unreasonable demands. Can't spare much right now. Clear working is nice. Drop plant attackers are very good. And research. Just do that one too. Why not? It's fine. Stonewall haze. Yeah, well, I think this will be probably better to do. Get more max planning. That'll help us with combat eventually. So. After this, we could uh, conquer South Columbia. Yeah, I suppose we can. The territories in the South will be incorporated into our empire. Which is nice. Only eight divisions, but we should do okay. Spy wise, we're only missing fire teams, which is actually pretty good. Even equipment's doing very well over there too. <clears throat> over here, we might lose some stuff, and I do apologize for my voice, like me cracking, me coughing a little bit. So I swear I don't have a disease, at least for now. Maybe eventually though. Ooh, we just found something nice. Hey, General Tom schematics. Uh, why for? Uh, why? Why is it be General Thomas, man? Why? <coughs> Warmonger, yeah. That's probably... Well, we're going to get all three of these anyway, so... I don't want to get more war sport first, maybe. But then, monthly population goes up. Eh, it's better to do that one earlier. But then again, let's go Babcock. Because one I usually don't do just because... Well, we need we do need a bigger navy. Why aren't we making this other one? Defense are online, great. Because we need more supplies. Scrap metal in use. Trade. We're trading away quite a bit of stuff here. Can we distress outsiders? We have to be at war. And then we have to go down to every cap for the army. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Because honestly, we're probably going to have to split you in half. Where is that? S. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to have to do here. A 
It's hard to see, but yeah, this is all green now. Oh, look at that. We can actually level up the trade node. Nice. Make us some more money, please. More money, please. Please, please, please. And we're still building some civvies here and stuff like that. We'll get some more millies eventually, but it's probably not. It just takes time. It takes a lot of time. Old Spokane. And we do some... Ooh. Yes. I want to train some of these guys, too. Just make them 20 combo with immediately. Uh, they're a little better than infantry, but honestly, they don't look that great. But whatever. You can have one division. Look, workspace is nice. Conquer South Columbia now. I'll get that one too. Cool. So go and stop training. And we'll do our best as possible. Unless we at least we have one more division too. Do that one too. How much money do we have? 200 is pretty good. New citizens care package. We'll want to wait for that one eventually. And yeah, not bad. Three, two, one. You know what? I'll save in front of you all again. <clears throat> because I can. They've up to ten divisions. We've got nine. We're pretty equal in terms of that. They have a lot of ships. But they have no capital ships. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully our shippies do okay. I really don't want them to get injured too badly. But we'll see what happens. And are you guys good to go? Yes, you are. You are going. And of course, if this fails, then, well, it's my fault, but we'll see what we can do about it. Propaganda. Get more stability if you can. Get more war support. 1% one plus, one percent war support every week is that's really strong. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. We're running into issues already. How many divisions? Just one? That's what I thought. Nice. But now it's going to be like this. And hopefully we can take this tile. Ah. They were, th they were somewhat smart themselves, preparing for us. Get some more extraction. We could use it. We just need to land somewhere, man. That's all we need. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Force the attack. You gotta force it. You gotta win somewhere here. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can win down here. I know you can. Oh, they have robots. Oh, crap. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, they threw another division in there. Are you kidding me? Ah. Go, 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 go. Flood out. I said flood out, bros. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Go down here to here to here to here to there. Oh no, we sacrificed these divisions. No. No. God dang it, that sucks. Well. You can't always be, can't always win them. Oh, I might have to redo this off screen, maybe. We'll see. Hey, but we're trying. We are definitely trying here. So where are you guys headed to? Get, get, bros, get up here. Yeah, this is bad. If we can retreat, that'd be great. Head to here. Get it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, uh, that's not good. Ooh. Yeah, that's not good. Not good. So, yeah. Um, so, after this focus, we'll probably end up doing something like infrastructure development. So, we should develop our infrastructure to make it safer for civilians to move around the nation and decrease resource extraction. But, I think we're going to end it here and retry the dredger scene. And we'll probably be back here when they're about to capitulate. But, if you enjoyed the first video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we won't have lost so many men. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.